have the car back again. I don't know how long. But we're coming back from Tampa again. Supposed to get that tropical storm and stuff. Wow, the sky looks really nice. storm until 7.45 tonight, but they said tomorrow it's yeah. coming, so I don't really know what that means, Definitely. but it does say within the next 36 hours at the same time, so I'm assuming the warning is definitely going to be extended. It says winds, 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusts up to 50. It doesn't seem bad, but when it's constant, yeah. with all that rain. Current threat to life and property is elevated. So that's, you know, three to five additional inches of rain. Uh, when we get those quick rain things, our lawn gets water on it. So does our road, remember? Yeah. That's what we need. Then it says, situation is favorable for tornadoes. safe and remain ready to protect against tornado impacts. Listen for tornado watches and warnings. If a tornado approaches, quickly remove to the safest place within your shelter. What the heck would we do? And this is where it says, several places may experience tornado damage with a few spots of considerable damage, power loss, and communication failures. Locations could realize roofs torn off frame houses, mobile homes demolished, boxcars overturned, large trees snapped and uprooted, vehicles tumbled, and small boats tossed about. Dangerous projectiles can add to the toll. And the thing is, is they've never said that before with any of the tornado watches and stuff that we've had in the past. No, they haven't. Or even the hurricane that was coming towards us that one time. So this is a little weird that they would say that. What do we do? With what? Even our kitchen floor isn't supporting us on the one side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it says it says it's currently nine. It says it's, it currently feels like 97 outside. Oh, I thought it's been last It says it's 89, but it says current. It feels like 97. This is a warning. It says tropical storm warning instead of watch. So, yeah. Floods. Yeah, winds. Tampa's getting bags. You said sandbags. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're offering sandbags to the people of Tampa for for the floodings that they're expecting. Tropical Depression 3 has formed over the fall to whatever, Mexico. This depression is expected to become a tropical storm by later today or early tonight. 
The depression will move quickly north and eventually turn northeast on Monday, approaching the Florida Big Bend coastline during Monday afternoon. Tropical storm warnings are now in effect from, you know, that to that, that place to that place. And they're talking about potential rescues that they may have to do if you don't leave your house when they tell you to. You hear about Texas? <clears throat> I think so, but I don't remember now. Crap. And now they're getting this rain and the, all those floods. and. Oh, yeah. Rain. Is our mobile home anchored? Yeah. I don't know. And with us inside of it, it keeps it down a little. <laughs> it says if it's not anchored, then it could float away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you notice, the real homes, they were floating away too. And they weren't mobiles. Where some of the floods were and stuff. But it doesn't matter if it's anchored or not. It says if if you if there's a tornado, just leave. Yeah. You have a better chance on the road trying to drive away from the tornado than you do staying in your mobile. Yeah, home. and we have Tasha and Mookie trying to find them, and Tabby. And I want to leave Betty. I'm looking for satin. Satin's all skinny. So what do we do? Put all the outside cans in the trunk and then... Yeah! <laughs> Food and water... I, I, I feel so bad for... Could you imagine the sounds? Because they don't... I mean, they're important papers, all of your stuff... Yeah, I know. ...that you, you, you really need. If we didn't have any cat carriers, which we don't, for the outside cats, Imagine the sounds that would come from the trunk with all the outside cats. I know. Especially with Betty in there. Wow, but she can't hear too good. She screams like <laughs> Yeah, she just be, hey, We wouldn't really know if they're fighting or not because of how much she screams yeah. like that. Because when I went bend down to pet her, sometimes she goes, Rah! really fucking really loud. And I'm like, yeah. ah, because, you know, it doesn't, it, it scares I think she's going to bite me or something. Yeah. But it's only because she's like, oh, hi, but really, really, really loud. Like the way um, Tabby sneezes and sees yeah. the crap out of everybody. Yeah. Now it's not so bad, but wow, the first time that he really ever sneezed that loud, I thought That sounded like did. a person. Oof. Right? He, yeah, and that time they did it right next to me. I thought he was going to bite me because he's like, oh, gee, you know, it's okay. <laughs> like, holy crap. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know, like, oh, shit, he's going to eat me. <laughs> oh, crap. Look at these roads. Always working on them for no ass reasons at all. Tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the Falador Massacre. Really? Yeah. I really gotta get those books. I wanna finish reading them. I thought you didn't know what I was talking about. Well, actually, you still don't, because it's not a book. I know it's not a book. It's on RuneScape. Right. It's RuneScape books I said I wanted to finish. Yeah, I know. It's funny, isn't it? You read, you read RuneScape Yeah, books. I'm like, okay, this is not going to interest. Oh, it is interesting. I loved them. I have to get the last. Yeah. What is it, the last book? Or yeah, last there's two? one. Yeah, I got One it. left that you have to read. I've got to read it. But the Falador Massacre occurred on 6-6-2006. Weird. So, weirdly enough, three sixes. I don't like three sixes. You know that. And what happened was, it was after the construction update, when the construction skill first came out, the first person to have 99 construction, the first person to max, and they had a house party at their house that they made and all that. But there was a glitch with the house so that the safe player versus player mode in the dungeon, um, you know, it's activated so you can attack anybody at any time. You won't lose your stuff. But one of the guys named Duriel, 321 was his username, found out that if you go there with the PvP activated and then teleport out of the house, 
the PvP, the game still thinks you're in PvP mode while nobody else would be able to attack back. Oh, and no. it, thus, because he's out of the house, the safe mode part was turned off. So anybody that he killed, for one, couldn't attack back, and two, lost everything that they had on them. Why would he do that? Because he, he thought it was fun. And he was taking everybody's stuff. Anybody that had a party hat and stuff that was worth like a hundred million at the time, he'd kill them and then get their party hat. So all because of him, it's called the Massacre. The Falador Massacre. The Great Falador Massacre. Yep, that's what it was called. It's weird that it's such like a big thing and it's just a game. I don't know. But imagine that though. Like, even though it's just a game, you still You're spend time it. Right. on it, right? So even if it, the items and stuff don't matter to you, like you never played the game, you don't like the game, whatever, if it's the time spent at getting it. So imagine like this one item or all of your items took like 40 hours of, of play time to get. And then because of a glitch, somebody took that away from you rendering all of the 40 hours that it took for you to get it useless. You know, I mean, you'd probably be upset, right? <laughs> Again, it's still kind of useless no matter what because you still spent 40 hours for no, no actual gain in real life. But at the same time, if you're having fun... Uh, oh, that's a curse. Yeah. Well, nobody's in it right now, right? But I thought there has to be cars in front of it and behind it. There might not have to. Depends upon what religion you are. Oh, really? Maybe oh. just cars in front. Really? Could be. I don't know if it's certain. I thought that was just an like they just do that in America. I don't know. I don't know. I've never just seen a regular hearse driving around. Well, they could be, unless they're bringing the body to the place. Yeah, no, they still do that. Do yeah. That. And so maybe they just came from it. Or they're delivering a coffin on them. Oh, what the hell? That's so sad. Yeah. Somebody had a loss and I don't like that. Okay, now what do I do in the middle of the road? Nothing. Okay, I just stay here. Oh wait, no, yeah, you move over there now, right? How do I That's know That's what that? you normally do. Is it gonna end? This is it a It never road. did. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. They just, just, you just seen where wait, it, it says that we got restarted up. Yeah, six miles. Right, but if you remember, they had a little opening. So I said, I'm like, oh my God, if there's no opening, how am I gonna get there now? Oh, I don't know. It sure doesn't look new. That's all. Like they closed that sign. Because they had everything, they kept closing it, remember? And there was just a little opening for me to, to get out. Oh. Anyway. I guess we can go over there if you want. For the very first time, Jagex is actually going to acknowledge the Falador Massacre. Because before, you know, they were trying, you know, the guy obviously got banned after they found out and they fixed the bug and all that. Yeah, but, yeah, nobody got their stuff back. That's not fair. But, this is going to be the first time that they actually acknowledge it. Well, technically the second because they actually put it in an emo. It's called the 15 year emo, whatever. And if you did the 2006 one, they actually put him in the game. The guy that did the, the so glitch. Can you pretend to kick his ass? <laughs> no, he tries to kill somebody, but it doesn't work. Wow. And the emo is funny. But anyway, what they're going to do on old school RuneScape is they're going to ha open up a tournament world. They renamed that world World 6 6. Yeah, wow, that's stupid. For because that's the date that it happened on. And it's weird that that's the number. Yeah. But that's the date it happened on. And 
that's the world that they're going to open up on that day, which is tomorrow. That's why I don't like that number. It's I know. To do, yeah, but maybe they don't. Oh, what? It's to do with Satan and devil worships and stuff like that, and I, yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> which I have something to say about devil worship in a second. Oh. Uh, um, not about risk. But it was something I watched. Anyway, it's a tournament world that they're going to do, and I guess they're going to do it in Valador, where you can attack everybody in Valador just like that day, but it's a tournament world, so none of the stuff actually matters. They're just going to do it just to remember are, are you the day. Yeah, because it's going to be a separate world. It's not going to be related with your account and all oh, that. So, yeah. <laughs> Something could happen. Could you imagine if, like, you log into that world and then somehow if you you could do, like, the world switcher and then log into a regular world and do it all over again oh, like what you did? That would be so funny. Yeah, it would. It would, it would be funny. You. And they, it would be their fault because they're actually doing it. And then they still didn't safeguard it. That would be funny, honestly. I don't really play old school, though, so I wouldn't really lose anything. But, speaking of the devil worship thing, I seen a uh, video. Really made absolutely no sense why they did it there. But basically, there was the world's largest train tunnel that was opened in some country. I forget which one now. And they decided to celebrate it with really weird dances and with people in plastic bags and white robes and all this shit. Not like KKK robes, but like, you know, like a, like a, I don't know, it was like a see-through thing that they were all in and it was all weird. Huh. And then, then they started making it weirder where they did the goat heads. Oh. And shit, and you know how goat heads are now related with devil worship and shit. So they had the one guy wearing a hollowed out goat head, like a real goat head. And then they had people that were like, you know, doing this with like goat skulls and shit. And they had like the really long horns attached to their heads and all that. It was so weird. What, what the understand. hell does that have anything to do with celebrating the world's largest train tunnel? Yeah, I know. And what I don't understand, each and every one of us has something inside of us, right, that can tell you what's good from evil. Right, even and if you're not Christian right. or religious right. at all. Right, if you're not, you could still, why would you, why would you feel it's right to kill an innocent animal just to wear his freaking head? It's not for food, it's not for anything like that, but just to wear his freaking head on your head. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't yeah, make you no feel... Idea. Like that's to not me, right. That just feels weird. I mean, we don't turn do here. poor cows and all that to wear his head. Their head. <laughs> oh, that is so yeah. sick. I know it's weird. It's really weird. I don't understand it at all. I don't either. People are. You'd have to have some sort of weird feeling, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would really. If you're not religious so. at all, you don't believe in God. You don't believe in the devil. You'd still have to have some type of weird. Five. Just saying, you know, wow, I'm doing it the wrong way. No. Now remember, you just go straight, you don't turn. Yes. <laughs> if I want to turn right here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll be going to Orlando. Wow, that'd be nice. Disney is like right over there. And of course, today with another ticket, I can get good. <laughs> all you need is $95, and you can go to Disney all day. Yep, you don't need to eat. We have sandwiches already. We're set. There you go. I got we would water. be set if we just went right now. Got some coffee. If we had that money. Oh, I didn't wear my shorts. <sighs> you know, if I actually had a bank account and I got my YouTube check, we'd be we'd both be able to go. I'd be able to pay for that and dinner. But then nothing else. <laughs> it's almost three hundred dollars. You know that? It's that no. Yeah. Although it kind of it kind of hit a slow road, and I'm kind of thinking YouTube Red has has to do with it. 
YouTube Red is, the, is a new thing that you gotta pay for. Uh, $10 a month or whatever, you get no advertising. No advertisements on any videos. You don't see any when you, you know, load up any. And you also, uh, get to watch certain YouTube Red only videos that are higher quality and stuff. And I guess that that kind of dips into profits a bit because the YouTuber, the YouTube creators don't make as much that way versus people that actually watch the advertisements. But it's still better than those that use Adblock because those that use Adblock means that you are skipping the ad, like you don't see the ad and like the YouTube creator doesn't get nothing at all. But at least with YouTube Red, right, you're paying the $10 a month, so you don't get the advertisements, but a portion of that will go to the people you've watched. And then without YouTube Red and without the ad, ad, the ad block, if you watch the advertising, or even if you press the skip button after the five seconds, the, the video creator will get money for that, obviously, like, only so like a couple $10 cents, but I'm just saying, what, you for pay? paying for YouTube Red. Oh, so people pay. So people they pay so they don't have to have oh. ads, and so that they can watch the premium videos, like, Boyfriend vs. Girlfriend, before they broke up, they did That's, Prank Academy. That really pisses me off. You don't like Prank Academy? No, <laughs> I didn't like it when they broke up. Yeah. That still pisses me off. They were doing all these freaking pranks, right? That, I mean, if they weren't strong in togetherness, you know, that they had as a relationship, they would have broke up during some of those. Yeah, I know. But I'm sorry, because when they stopped doing all those horrific freaking pranks to each other, <laughs> oh, well, now we have to break up. I mean, come on. And he's been seen hanging around with another woman now. No surprise. So I really, why so did they break up? So some people wonder if. Ding ding ding. It was because he wanted somebody else. You're damn right. So that woman started getting a lot of hate after people found her, and then she <laughs> privated her, her Instagram account. Oh goodness. And all really? that. You know, and people, he, then he wrote on Twitter. Stop breaking up other people's relationships and shit and find your damn own. I do find it weird, though, because, Don't like... Don't break up marriages and, and shit like that, you know? It's just not right. It's not. Isn't that weird? They were together for ten years. He never proposed. And if you freaking... If you don't want that person anymore or whatever... Right. Freaking, you know, end it before you go out and find somebody else. Right. Because that's just wrong. Anyway, sorry about that. Why do... It really, really pisses me statistically, off. Statistically, when somebody cheats Why? or plans to, and then they break it off with the long-term relationship to go with them, that relationship never works out. No, it doesn't normally. And then that one tries to come back, oh, I'm so sorry, I made a mistake. Right. Oh, uh, you know, I was either drunk or, or something. And it's like, you know, I, that is such bullshit. He wrote on Twitter that if you love something, you have to let it go. Yeah. Uh-huh. I actually wrote to him, and even though obviously he's not going to see it. He has like millions of followers. But I said, that's bullshit. If you love something, you would try to hold on to it for dear life. Yeah. You wouldn't work, want to let it go at all. Work things out if and you shit. truly Don't love them. Don't freaking cheat. Hi. It's when, if you fall out of love, that's different. Yeah, but it I, is. Obviously, you know, we don't really understand the falling like, out of love part, but it, it happens. 